Welcome to the video guys. You might remember some of the pledges from the Tory government in the lead up to the election and of course afterwards, including Priti Patel saying she was going to change the immigration system and put an end to free movement, which has once again been reported in the Times today and you should obviously take with a pinch of salt given everything the Tory government has been up to recently in relation to immigration and of course publishing the report that our petition has been calling for, which the Home Office decided wasn't in the public interest. But as we all know, it's not just free movement that is the issue. We also have boats of migrants flooding into the country in record numbers over the last few weeks and it has also continued today. So while if this article has any truth to it, it would be good, like I said, a pinch of salt is definitely needed. Pretty Patel will press ahead with legislation next week to end free movement, saying that the new immigration system will fulfil the demands of Brexit and help the country recover from the coronavirus crisis. The government will bring forward the immigration bill on Monday after it was shelved in April as ministers focused on their response to the virus, which is a sign that things are going to start coming back to normal, hopefully anyway. The Home Secretary will say that the legislation fulfills the promise to take back control of Britain's borders, which is absolutely laughable, because we have this article here. Border Patrol intercepts migrant boats, 17 return to France while others reach the UK. So they returned one boat while three got here. I love how they headline with 17 return to France and not likely 50 to 100 of them arrived here. The Border Patrol have intercepted at least three migrant boats this morning. Despite the ongoing threat of the coronavirus pandemic, migrants are still attempting dangerous journeys across the channel to the UK. The Border Force vessels Search and Hunter were involved in today's interception, the BBC has reported. BBC reporter Simon Jones tweeted, 17 migrants, including a baby and five children, were picked up by the French authorities and returned to France after their boat broke down in the channel off Calais this morning, which I'm sure surprises no one that the BBC will report on that while often avoiding reporting on how many arrive in the UK. Last week, a record of 150 migrants crammed into 10 tiny dinghies were intercepted in the English Channel as they attempted to make an early morning crossing which I covered at the time and obviously is not going to end with just that. It will probably continue to grow as time progresses because they all know that we just willy-nilly bring them over here. Despite Home Secretary Pretty Patel vowing to tackle the problem, more than 1,065 migrants have already made the perilous crossing this year. Let me tell you, it's a hell of a lot more than 1,000. That is just the amount they have caught. I bet there is probably multiple thousands that have made it through without being caught and just willy-nilly walked into the UK and possibly met up with family members who likely did the same thing previously. People trafficking gangs have been taking advantage of calm conditions to smuggle huge numbers of people into Britain in recent days. The most for a single day was 102 in February. The first week of May saw 76 people landing which we actually have a report we'll check out in a minute that suggests 90 people landed yesterday, so almost a record amount, being only 12 behind the maximum in February. In April, 523 people crossed the busy Dover Strait shipping lane as I covered at the time when that news was brought out to us. Nearly 700 people had reached Britain's shores since the coronavirus lockdown before yesterday's total was counted. Border Force lifeboats and a Coast Guard helicopter were launched after yesterday's alarm was raised, all at the taxpayers' expense, guys. A drone from Lyd Airport in Kent was also used to spot the migrants. The first dinghy, which was packed with about 50 people, was picked up at around 2am. It is understood Miss Patel asked France to take responsibility for migrant vessels even if they reach British waters, which is common sense because they should instantly be returned to where they come from. Don't bring them over here, you're essentially doing the smugglers and their job for them. In return, UK taxpayers will foot the bill for more patrols on the French coast, which I actually have no problem with, because if we didn't give it to them to deal with it, then we would have to spend it ourselves, and guess what that would mean? Bringing them back to the UK. We definitely don't want that. 
Officials believe returning boats to France rather than escorting them to British ports will do more to undermine people, smugglers. Well done, you absolute bunch of idiots. How has it took you this long to come to the obvious conclusion? I actually wonder to myself how stupid these people actually are. To have only just come to that conclusion now is truly baffling. This week, the Home Secretary spoke to her French counterpart, Interior Minister Christopher Castaner, who reaffirmed the commitment to carry out returns at sea to stop the illegal crossings. We will continue to take whatever action is necessary to stop this criminal trade, including changes to the law. The Dover MP welcomed Miss Patel's comments, no one cares about that. Today's brazen legal crossings as we celebrate the 75th anniversary of VE Day is another reminder why firm action is needed to stop the ruthless smuggling gangs and return boats to France. Only when migrants and traffickers alike know they will not succeed in breaking into Britain in this way will these dangerous journeys cease. They won't cease then but they will certainly slow down and should make it easier for them to be caught travelling from France to the UK before they get into our waters and swiftly return back to France. And like I said, as was reported here last night at about 11 o'clock, 90 migrants intercepted in six small boats in the English Channel. A total of 900 migrants have crossed into the UK since the lockdown began on March 23rd. The occupants of the six boats, one of which carried 25 people, were brought to Dover, Kent to be dealt with by immigration authorities. And we already know about the record set there, although it's 145 here and 105 in the other article. So we'll just call it between 105 and 145. I'm inclined to think this number might be more correct, but neither is a good sign anyway. But I think you would all agree that Pretty Patel needs to stop with the talk and actually start taking action in regards to these migrant crossings. We're not allowed out of our home, but these people can jump in a small boat and get a taxi service by our border force over into the UK. You might as well put up flyers in Pakistan, Syria and everywhere else saying, stay where you are, the UK will come and pick you up. Because that appears to be what we are actually doing and it has to stop. I really struggle to believe that Pretty Patel will actually do anything given, like I said earlier, her inaction in relation to the grooming gang report that has still not been released. Her saying she's going to end free movement is literally only going to be a cure for a part of the problem. It is not going to sort it out unless you take care of these migrant crossings and stop bringing them over here. As it says in the article that we looked at a moment ago, undermine them by sending them back to France. I can't believe it's taken the governments of this country until 2020 to actually realise that obvious fact. Maybe they should all resign and let the people of this country take over. I could pull a group of people off the street and we would do a thousand times better at the jobs that these lot are completely failing to do. So not only are MPs and civil servants incompetent, but they are completely useless snivelling shit weasels as we are finding out more and more. Now before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.